and I, I believed in Jerry, you know, to, to, you know, in having a television series. So I sent this letter to Brandon Tartikoff saying, you know, call me a crazy guy, but I think uh, Jerry Seinfeld will soon have a series on NBC and blah, 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 and I think uh, it's worth coming to see him or any of your associates, you're invited, you know, to town hall, uh, you know, to see him. And, uh, but no one came, no, no one came to town hall, but the letter itself triggered a meeting where Brandon said, ah, maybe we should bring him in for a meeting. Jerry just made one thing clear. He said, I'm not going to play a character like a shoe salesman or an accountant or, you know, a father uh, that has a job. If I do anything, he knew this. He came out with the essence uh, uh, of the series and, and, and that he would be playing himself pretty much. He didn't know what the premise was exactly. Uh, and then, like two, three days later, he went to New York and he ran into Larry David at Catch a Rising Star. And they went into this uh, Korean deli, deli and, and they made fun of all the products there and everything else. And then they went for coffee afterwards. And this is what the series should be about. It should be about two comics like talking about observing things. You know, no storyline, but, but ju just two comics relating, uh, observing funny things and talking about it. And ultimately when we read it, it just had a sensibility to it, a vibe that wasn't on television. And that's what you do pilots for. Who knows? I, it, it, it seemed like there was a, a fun, fresh sen observational sensibility that absolutely was the DNA of Jerry Seinfeld meets Larry David. And um, we, we read the script and we said, let's try it. Brandon uh, said, okay, let's do it. And then we, we ran back to Brandon, it's a, it's a pilot, right? It's not, it's not a, just a script. He said, yeah, yeah, it's a pilot. And then he said, George, now you don't have to send me any more letters. Because I was bombarding him with letters, and that was the last letter I ever sent to him. We did a pilot. Uh, there was no Julia Louis-Dreyfus, just the three guys. And we screened it um, in Burbank for programmers, advertising, sales, senior management. And it screened pretty well. You know, they got it. It was funny. Jerry was funny. Jason Alexander was funny. Michael Richards was funny. Not a big story. Not a whole lot of hugging. And, you know, there was a, no big stakes. Um, we liked it. And, and it screened pretty well. The research came in about a week later. They tested it. As you know, they do massive research when they do pilots at all the networks. And the research was, 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 was very bad. One of the worst documents in the history of research. Pilot performance weak. I never forget that because that was prominent. Pilot performance weak. Overall results weak. They felt that uh, who cares about people going to a laundromat together, a bunch of friends going to a laundromat. How dull is that? They knew who Jerry Seinfeld was. They just didn't particularly love him. Um, but they thought more of Jerry than they did the rest of the ensemble around Jerry. And then they also said, Jerry needs a better backup ensemble. This is in the research. We have it framed. We all have it framed in our houses or our offices. And then uh, one of my favorites was that they said that uh, 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 people resented the storyline interfering with Jerry's stand-up routine. They didn't like the show. Research recommended if we were crazy enough to do anything with this, maybe just focus on Jerry's stand-up. I had a meeting with uh, one of the finance guys, and he said, you got no money left, you can't do it. I said, well, there must be some way. And ultimately, because Seinfeld came out of the uh, specials area, we robbed uh, Bob Hope of a birthday special, um, and we came up with enough money to do four episodes of Seinfeld. I said, Jerry, I'm thrilled to say we're going to make four more episodes of Seinfeld. Dead silence. He said, in the history of television, has any show ever succeeded with a four-episode order? I said, I didn't know. I did not know. And he said, okay, well, okay, we'll do it. Now, what I heard years after from Larry was 
he and Jerry were convinced we would never put those shows on the air. And at some point, they would hold a dinner party and they would show to their friends the pilot and the four episodes that NBC never aired. And that would be the night's entertainment. And they made those episodes for their friends. And that was their guiding principle. How will we make our friends laugh? Because no one in America will ever see these. Um, well, of course, America did see them. The one note, and I think it's the only note we ever accomplished, was to say, add a girl. And they cast Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and, um, and boy, did they understand what to do with that note. Um, and uh, Larry and Jerry followed their own drumbeat. They heard things that, that were in their world, and they just put that on the television screen.